Ready to go? Okay, so, hello everybody in YouTube land. We're gonna be making a suspension bottom for our glass plate negative box. So, as I've discussed earlier, we have a piece of board that essentially is when you measure the, the area that you need, it has to be a little bit bigger than your sink mat because we're gonna build space around the box, which you'll see in another video. So, we want it to be one width and three lengths long and we are aware of the direction of the corrugations because we need that for our springiness of our suspension bottom, okay? So this piece um, is 81 centimeters long, so we're gonna divide it into three sections. So when I do this, I'm just gonna do my overall math first. And again, because it's translucent, I can see the measurements on both sides. So 27.54, first of all. And of course, as I've always said, if anybody wants to come closer, you by all means do so because you're going to be doing this yourself. So measure 13.5. 13.5. Hello, camera. <laughs> all right. So you can barely see it, but there are little marks here. If you choose to use a pen or a Sharpie, you can do so with this only, because again, you will see it on both sides, okay? So I'm gonna start with my main fold, and with this, you can use a bone folder. Again, you're using it on against the corrugations, so you might wanna use a lot of elbow as you go, or you can use the dull point of a blade, which I prefer to use personally just because I find it tedious to switch tools, but again, that's my preference. So I'm just scoring here and here to make my first folds, okay? So again, I just have these pieces, just you can see, ready to go. So we're gonna fold towards your score. Okay, so once you've done your first score, you're gonna flip this over. And again, you can hopefully see the marks you have on your other side and go through. Otherwise, you can just remeasure. Mine are a little bit dim, so I'm gonna remeasure really quickly. As I said, if you, if you choose, you can see it right through. Same thing. So again, we flip the board over. Do my scoring. And again, we're folding towards your score. If you notice that it's gone a little bit crooked, don't panic, it's fine. All you're gonna do is trim where it starts to jet out because essentially you want it to fit nicely within your box. Okay, so what you end up with is the shape as we showed before, okay? So there you go. 